grab your popcorn, kick back and relax because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, I got some really cool task force attacks to show you on Operation Bottleneck. And the boosts that these guys are going to have is going to be virtually nothing. And if you're a full offense player, what they have would have to be pretty close to your unboosted stats as well. So, uh, I think you guys will really enjoy this video. So, the first task force attack I've got is for a, of a guy named Azar. And he's going to be soloing Quota for Operation Bottleneck. So, you can see that at the top there, it says Bottleneck. Uh, so let's see how he does it. Quota isn't like the hardest base by any means, but when you're only rocking the stats that this guy had, I mean, you can you can see quite easily why it'd be hard. Um, so let's just four, four times this so we can get him up there, smoking his medic so he doesn't lose too many. Uh, and I'm surprised he didn't lose more medics in that situation, but. Uh, he'll get them up there fine by the looks of it. Uh, yep, so he's got them up there relatively unscathed. I mean, he did lose a little bit, but... Uh, when you're trying to smoke medics, that'll... That'll happen. So he critters the boom mines, just so he doesn't lose too many tanks from that. He's probably going to lose one. Nope. Uh, but it did get pretty badly damaged, so... I, I feel like he, he might have been able to get that boom mine as well if that critter placement had have been just right. Uh, but that's just me. So he's got a fair bit of cells here. Knowing that he can get that bit of cells to get more gunboat energy. And you can see he's only shocking this cluster of rockets. Because he knows the amount of medics he has. That's going to be dangerous for him to take on that many rockets at the same time, so, uh, with, and also, I think he might have lost a medic or two on the way, I think he must have, uh, but you can see, now it looks like he's, he's run out of GBE for shocks and things like that, uh, I don't think he even has enough for a med kit, because otherwise, I think he would have med kitted it, uh, but he got, he gets the solo there, so good job to him. Uh, that's a, I think that's a pretty cool attack if you ask me. Whenever you can take on an operation on Operation Bottleneck and get a solo, especially with the sort of stats that these guys have, I mean that's pretty good going. Yeah, so you can see that he did lose 10 medics. So that was why it was a little closer than what uh, he may have liked for it to be. Uh, so the next task force attack is going to be uh, unboosted to the very highest degree here. You couldn't ask for it to be closer. Look at that. He lost seven, seven tanks and it's going to be on Operation... For Operation Bottleneck, the, uh, the base known as Ballast. So he's using 15 medics. So that's three boats of medics for tank medic. Uh, so you can see, if you don't remember what ballast looks like. That's what this ballast looks like. Um, so the unboosted stats here, I mean I have more than this unboosted, so and I, even when I was boosting, I was I wasn't, I won't say I was struggling but, I mean, I didn't do it as well as he did. And a key point to note here pay attention that he ran over those mines so he's ta because his tanks were hurt, those medics are going to follow. And he also just let his tank get hit before he get before shocked it. This means that when he flares up the top, the medics will have something to heal, so they'll they'll chase and stay under that smoke. So he's letting his tanks get hit by rockets for the same reason that he's still going to have stuff to be shocked. He has to critter those cannons just because he might lose some medics if he doesn't. Uh, but those rockets aren't really too much of a threat at the current time. So it really just allows him to get all these guys up there. 
Although, I think his timing on that critter box, that's the only thing on this attack that probably could have been a bit better. But, I mean, it's still, it's still amazing regardless of that. So, uh, sorry for the constant zoom in and out there. I didn't even realize I was doing it. Uh, so we'll just move up so you guys can see a bit better. And you, you can see he hasn't, he hasn't really barraged or artilleried much. He's really just shocking stuff and crittering it. And that's the key point to take away from a lot of what these guys are doing. They just find the dead spot, or as close to the dead, a dead spot as what they can, and they just shock when they can shock, and they critter when they can critter, and a lot of the time with good strategy and the right troops, you can get the solo, so... Uh, that's... That's cool, so we'll four times this because obviously it's just farming away at the HQ at the present moment. So the sniper tower was getting some shots off and taking out his tanks very slowly, but he had enough damage to take out the core. So that's Blast with pretty much no statues on Operation Bottleneck. That's That blows my mind even to say that. Uh, so the next base I want to show you guys, and this will be the last one for the video, unfortunately. It's going to be Distortion. And you can see the stats here. He was boosted, but I think for most players that are full offense, they'll have this anyway. So, I think you can still call it unboosted for most people. Uh, minus a little bit of troop health. Uh, so he's running Rifleman. Cryoneers and two boats of medics. So that's pretty cool. Now let's watch that and see how how exactly he managed to do that. So he drops them all on the right side. And the reason why I'm staying zoomed out here is because I know uh, something's going to happen in a little bit. And I want I want you guys to see it. Uh, let's go over there. So if He's got some cells, he's, fa he's farming those cells, taking out the machine guns. Uh, is it going to happen? I, don't, I know he does it, I just don't know when he does it. So he goes up, stays out of range just as much stuff as he can, taking out more cells, getting more gunboat energy. He must do it soon. Uh... So he goes up, he's going up to that corner to get more cells because he's going for the flank. Well, four times it. Ah, there we go. He artilleries those three mortars because really that's more shocking than what he can probably afford. So he does have a fair bit of energy gathering up here and he's not spending a great deal of it. And you might be asking yourself why exactly he's, he's not spending it much because he can afford to well you're probably going to see that in just a second so he doesn't mind to take those rocket shots he can afford to do that med kits just because he knows his riflemen are getting really close to dying and those cryoneers are gonna slow down the fire meaning his medics will be able to heal everything up so much easier and he's not even shocking those rockets. Which is actually something really cool to see. Now he's going over to the side here. Just so he can clear everything here naturally. And you know it'll be able, it'll be so much easier for him to do so. He shocks these rockets and shock launchers. And now you can see why he spent so much time farming that energy and didn't spend much. Because he wanted as much shock as he could. Just so he could keep everything shot. And you can see his riflemen now have cleared everything there. And he's flaring really close just so they'll naturally take out those buildings. And now you can see the real one of the biggest reasons for he those crying ears. Apart from the two rockets he took out without shocking it. They're also going to keep those mortars... Uh, slowed down just a little bit and you can see he wasn't a hundred percent sure if they would have 
uh, kept it kept them slowed down enough so he created the the power cells next to it just to keep them distracted because mortars fire every five seconds uh, I believe it's every five seconds so all you've got to do is distract it like once maybe twice and you're golden so that's that's pretty cool so he's already created his dead spot right now and boom there goes the core yep so that's some really cool solos I think on some pretty hard bases that a lot of people seem to struggle with and these guys made it look extremely easy and something I've learned from these guys is you don't need much statues with your GBE providing you're using it smart and as long as you have enough troop health or troop damage depending on what's going to be the factor as long as you've got enough to outweigh like what the base has you're going to be fine so if the building if the base has a lot of building damage then you want a lot of troop health to counter that and uh, so so on and so forth for everything else like the damage will counter the troop health the building health and stuff like that so uh, that's something pretty interesting I hope you guys f found all these tacks really helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one